Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little get ready with me using all the products that came in the Makeup Basket Monday. These are all mostly Fiona Styles products and I have been using all these products throughout the week. So I can tell you as I'm using them which products I feel like are good, which products are not so good. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and prime my face. And I'm actually going to use something that's not technically a primer. But the reason why I'm doing this is, and I'll tell you why as we're going along, the foundation is supposed to be a luminous primer. But it's not that luminous. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hand, on my fingers, and then we're going to put that onto my face. I use it as a primer. You don't have to. You can mix it in with your foundation, but I like putting it down first because I feel like it really helps to give a lot of luminosity to my skin. I like the way it looks. I think it looks really, really nice, especially for someone like me who has very dry skin. Dry skin can make you look so just like lifeless. Your skin can look a little lifeless, like it's like dull. So that's why I like to make it look a little bit more lively. So that is the primer I put on. It's not really technically a primer, like I said, but I do have moisturizer on my skin too. I have my Joyce Moran, um, the one that has um, an SPF of 47 in it. So I have that on my skin as well. So now we're gonna go in with the foundation. This is the Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation and I have the shade 04. The shade works really well for me, but I can just say that it's not quite as luminous as I thought it was gonna be because it does say luminous on it, so. I really like the way it looks on my skin. I just don't like the way they kind of portrayed it to be a little bit more like dewy finish type of thing. And I don't feel it's quite that dewy. So I'm going to use a brush to put this on with. One of my little Artiste type dupe brushes broke. So this one still works. This is the one that's the one that uh, Jessica Braun recommended. So this one works really well. But you can see it's got pretty good coverage. I'd say it's like a medium. You can build it up pretty well. So if you use a sponge with it, of course, it's not going to be quite as um, full coverage. I just like it with a brush because I feel like it goes on so smooth with the brush. And I like the way the brush feels on my skin. I'm really loving this new brush idea that they've come up with. I like it. Oh, I think there's a stray hair or something on here. I feel it poking. Oh, it's my hair. I was like, uh-oh. We have little pieces of the bristles coming out. But it was me. It's me going bald. So how has your week been? Hopefully you've had a good week. We've had a pretty good week here. It's been some nice days, but we've had a lot of rain, so I don't mind the rain. I'm just happy the coldness is leaving. I don't like it when it's cold. I like it so much better when it's warm outside. The only thing is when it's all muddy like this, you have an issue with your puppies getting all dirty. So I'm taking it down my neck just a little bit here, taking it up to my ear. I never realized till in a video, I have like a scar on the side of my face and I had never realized it before until I was watching one of my videos back and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that on my face? That's crazy. Okay, so there is one full coat, so now I'm going to go in just with a little bit more on my hyperpigmentation that I do have going on in my cheeks, which is from my acne scarring. Go in with just one more pump of this and then put that onto the parts where I feel like I still need a little bit more coverage, basically my cheeks. And maybe down a little bit on my nose because I have a lot of marks on my nose from wearing glasses all the time. I don't wear my contacts all the time. I don't really like them. They're okay. I prefer to wear glasses, but it's kind of hard to film a video wearing glasses because you get a lot of reflection off of it. So, for videos, I put my contacts in. But glasses are just so much more comfortable. And I don't have to worry about if I happen to fall asleep with them on. <laughs> I've fallen asleep with my contacts in before and I slept all night. Which, speaking of which, this past week I was so exhausted the one night. I fell asleep on the couch and I stayed there the whole night. And then... Woke up the next morning and realized I didn't take any of my makeup off. So I did end up with some little bit of acne because of that, sleeping with my makeup on. So just remember to always take your makeup off. That was a good reminder to myself to make sure I take it off. I've got a lot of going on my lips here and I don't like it on my lips. Okay. I think we're good. It's got pretty good coverage now. I feel like the coverage looks pretty good. So now we're done with that part. Now I'm going to go in with brows. So I'm going to use the Fiona Styles 
This is the uh, Micro Precision, Precision Brow Sculpting Pencil. I do have the Pot 2, the Pot of Brow product. And it works really, really good. So both of these I feel like are really good products. So both of these are winners. But this one I just am going to use today because I feel like it works a little bit faster, a little bit easier. So I, Because I don't have too much to cover, color in. So basically just a little bit here in the front. And then go up underneath of it just to kind of clean it up, smooth it out a little bit. And then go back a little bit more. A little bit more in the front here. And I feel like this is a pretty good color. I got the shade uh, Blonde Ash. So it works pretty good for my brows. It almost matches my brows completely, to be honest with you. I feel like it's a pretty good match. Whoa, my tail went down too far. Here's where I have a problem right here is I don't have any really brow hairs right here. They're still trying to grow in from where I used to pluck them too far back. So now they're just trying to grow back in. They're like, hey, we're coming. Coming along here. Whoops, went above a little too far. So I really do like this brow pencil though. I don't think it's quite as good as like the uh, Anastasia one. I feel like this one's a little bit harder like you have to press pretty hard to get some pigmentation so just know that it's not quite as good as the Anastasia one but it's still good especially right now with Ulta having everything that's Fiona Styles at half off I'd say pick it up if you can find it I'd pick it up now we're gonna go in and do my eyes so I'm gonna set my eyelids using my MAC Primerly Paint Pot because you guys know I love this uh, eye primer it's not really a primer it's actually an eyeshadow so I'm gonna use that to set quick And we're just going to do a not super fancy eye look. We're just going to try to give it, do an eye look that looks decent enough to pass off throughout the day. Oh my goodness, there was an eyelash. Did you see that? I just pulled an eyelash out. Good job, Tiff. Now I'm down to five eyelashes. <laughs> okay, so that part's done. Now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow palette. So I do have the Fiona Saw's eyeshadow palette. These do get really fingerprinted, so if you can tell that on here on the packaging. When you open it, it has a mirror, and then you've got all these shadows inside. So this is what I'm going to use to do my eye look today with. So I'm going to go in first with this. I think this is a Real Techniques brush. Yeah, it's a 200 brush. I'm going to go down here to the shade. A nice matte shade. And just set my primer. Make sure I get it all the way in. Do the same thing here. Set that primer. Then your shadows will glide over a lot smoother. That's done. Now we're moving along. We're going to get a, this is a Beauty Junkies uh, Pro Blending Brush. I'm going to go down here to the shade. It's like a pinky shade. It's like a pinky purple. So I'm just going to put that into my crease, a little above my crease, and then work it in. Wiggle, wiggle. I've been watching this TV show, or not, it's not really a TV show, it's a YouTube channel. It's called The Marketplace or something like that. And they go about and they investigate all kinds of stuff. So all the stuff that they're investigating is like the jewelry that you buy like at like um, Aldo or um, Hollister. They do investigate like kids type of jewelry like the cutesy type of jewelry. So they were investigating that and they were saying that a lot of the jewelry that they were finding had lead in it years back. So this was like 10 years ago they had lead in it. Now today they're finding something called cardam, cardam in it which is highly toxic they say like if a kid would put that in their mouth that it can actually cause damage to their internal organs and I was like oh my gosh whoa you've got to really watch the products that you actually let your child buy now and then I thought about it I'm like I mean if a kid has that in their mouth who's to say that like you or I like as adults wouldn't put a piece of that jewelry on and you have your little baby sitting in your lap and that baby wouldn't touch that with their mouth I'm like oh my gosh I'm not gonna support people that do that that's crazy you guys should go check out their channel I don't know what the channel name actually is but I know it's called marketplace it's I think it's CBC or something like that but it's like based out of Canada 
So they check all these different things out. Like they did one on health food, like if it's really healthy for you. Okay, so now we're gonna go in. Sorry, I'm getting a little off topic here. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I think it's crazy. I'm gonna go in with my Ready brush. I'm gonna go into this shade up here. This like this purple shade. I'm gonna put that onto my center lid. So anyway, they were looking at health foods and checking out labels. And they were checking like I, the soup that supposedly is heart healthy. And then they checked the label and it had so much sodium in it. There was no way that that was healthy for someone with heart issues. And then they checked like these kids bars that are supposed to be 100% um, fruit. And they had as much sugar in those bars as eating six and a half Oreo cookies. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then I started looking at my kids Cliff Bars because that's something I, I enjoy myself. And then I realized there was like three table, three teaspoons of sugar in one of those Cliff Bars. I'm like, they're not so healthy then. That's a lot of sugar. That's more sugar than I put in my, I don't put any sugar in my coffee. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. When you think you're making healthy choices, you really aren't. And then they did one on like, um, like outlet malls, if you're actually getting a good deal when you go to an outlet mall, because these outlet malls will say that they're giving you a deep discount. And <laughs> what it is, is they're giving you a, a discount, yes, but it's off of products that were never meant to be sold in stores. They're, they're products that were meant for the outlet store itself, which is crazy. I'm like, what? I learned so much from this channel. I'm loving it. And I'm going to go into this deep, dark purple shade over here. Tap that off. I'm just going to place that into the outer V a little bit. We're going to blend that out a little bit more. But yeah, I've learned so much from this channel, like listening to some of the things that they were saying about all these different things that I had no idea about. We'll blend this out. This eyeshadow goes on so smooth. Like it's just, it's like butter putting it on. It's like effortless. I love the way these shadows work. The shadow, the eyeshadow palette is a high recommend for me. I really do like that a lot. Now I'm just going to blend everything together a little bit. And then we're done with that part of the eyes. So we're just going to blend and then pull it up. Blend, blend, blend and pull it up. But yeah, so like they were checking all these different things out. They have so many different types of things that they check out. There's other things that they're investigating like cell phones, like I'm not sure what that's all about, but they have something about cell phones. So I'm going to continue watching that channel because I feel like it's very informative. It's kind of like watching Jen from Jen Loves Reviews when she talks about makeup products. She tells you so much information about products that you're putting on your skin, whether or not they're actually good for you or not. Or not really that they're good for you, but whether they're, they could be potential. Hey guys, I'm not sure where we cut off at. My memory card, I didn't realize, was completely full. I looked up and y'all were not there anymore. I was like, where'd they go? So anyway, hopefully you didn't lose, I didn't lose too much of my footage. Basically, all I did was pop some of that darker purple into the outer corner and I was blending it out and then I put some highlight in the brow and the brow bone yeah on the brow bone and then the inner corner so there's highlight there now so now i'm going to go in with this tart um precision longwear liner this is the lights camera lashes type of primer i mean not primer but liner so i'm going to go in with that i'm going to grab a big mirror here so i can see a little bit better can't really talk when i do this It's just kind of hard. You have to kind of hold your lips right. <laughs> now come over to the other side and do the same thing. And make a little tiny baby wing little tiny baby wing. I'm not really good at wings, but I'm experimenting. And that's what makeup's all about, right? Learning and experimenting, trying new things out. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any spots where I skipped. Little baby wing. Baby wing! That ain't gonna get me too far. That wing is gonna be too small to fly anywhere. Now I'm going to go in with the Fiona Styles uh, sheer sculpting palette. So here's what this looks like. And then on the inside you do get some nice, these are like cool tone colors. So they look, uh, not cool tone, warm. 
So, cool tone, yeah. <laughs> like, wait, which one am I talking about? I'm gonna go in with this uh, Real Techniques brush and just kind of sculpt up my cheeks just a little bit. Nothing extreme. Nothing extreme. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna go in and make sure we don't forget to um, conceal my under eyes. I always forget to do that like while we're working on this and I'm like, oh no, I forgot to do it. Move goals. So I'm gonna use the Fiona Styles. Whoops, it's stuck down in my little plastic container here. So this is the Fiona Styles Peach Corrector. So I got this one and then I also ended up picking up this one here. Both of these are good. This one I feel like is comparable to the one that I love from the drugstore, which is the, this one right here, the L'Oreal Visible Lift. I feel like this is the Fiona Styles is comparable to the L'Oreal Visible Lift in my opinion. So you don't want to pay for the Fiona Styles one. I feel like they're, they're quite comparable. So now we're just going to go in and correct under here first. And I like to look up and look down. Look all around. Your pants are falling down. No, I'm just kidding. Do y'all remember that saying as a kid? I remember kids would say that in school. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I thought I messed my contact up. That wouldn't be good. Nothing worse than having all your makeup fixed and then your contact messes up. And if you're like me, I can't just, like, pop my contact in and out. I have to, like tug on my under eye to put my contact in and out so that really messes your makeup makeup up so there it is concealed or corrected and now I'm gonna go in just with a little bit of this and then this is just a little bit of a and this is a clicky one though this one clicks like that so that's pretty cool how that does that this is a little bit more of a peach tone too but I'm just gonna put just a tab a tab a dab under my eyes and just kind of work that in too and I'm not even going to set either one of these because I really don't need it so I'm not even going to worry about setting it it's not necessary especially not for someone who's like me who has super dry skin, super dry everything so my under eyes of course are dry too so I'm not even going to worry about setting it I'm just going to leave it alone leave it alone but it works pretty good We'll go in with mascara now that we've finished this up. So what do you guys think so far? Is it looking pretty good? I lost my little gray cloth. Found it. Now I do have the Fiona Styles mascara I did pick up as well as the concealer thing that I picked up. Now the mascara I feel like is nothing special. There's nothing. The wand is any, any, isn't not anything special. And then I just don't feel like the formulation is anything special. Oh wait, before we start going in with this, let me grab the eyelash curler. Let me go. Here we go. So let's go ahead and try to curl my lashes. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. <laughs> Pump it a little bit. Hopefully I didn't get hardly any mascara on my lashes before I start doing this because you really shouldn't curl your lashes after you do it. You should always do this before you put mascara on. Okay, so the eyelashes are curled. Now we're going to go in with this mascara. And I feel like this does help to kind of keep some of it off my eyelids. I don't think it helps completely because I am a, I'm a train wreck when it comes to mascara. I am just not good at it. And I've, I've already decided that I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. I'm like, look, it's not that hard to get a Q-tip and wipe it off and then fix your eyeshadow if you have to. Just don't worry. If it works, it works. But I didn't get too much on it today like I normally do, so I do think it helps. We'll go back and put a little bit more on that eye. Just to try to amp it up as much as we can with this mascara. Like I said, I don't feel like it's anything super special, though. I don't really see where it's helping me that much with my eyelashes. I mean, I don't have voluptuous eyelashes to begin with, but... So, anyway, do you guys have some really awesome plans for this weekend? Oh, goodness, I think I just got it on my eyelid. Yup. We went last weekend and visited the new puppy that we will be getting. 
So his name is Max. He is a mini schnauzer. He's going to be just like our, we have a little girl puppy named Molly. So we'll have Max and Molly. Now I'm going to go in with this little palette here. I want a more natural highlight. The highlight com that comes in this palette here is a little bit more, it's beautiful, but don't get me wrong. I love both of them. But today I'm going to go with a little bit more natural type of highlight. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use the shade up at the top. And I'm just going to go in with this brush right here. We're going to go with a thicker brush for a highlight today. Just because we can. You don't have to use specific ones. You can use whatever you want to. Do it again. So do you see that doesn't really show up much at all? Oh, I got marks under my eyes from using the eyelash curler. It doesn't show up much. Now in the middle here, I'm going to use the middle and then the bottom to go down my nose and under my chin and just go back over these just a little bit more. This is a very, very natural type of highlight. It's more of a, you can use it almost as a setting powder because it doesn't have a whole lot of glow to it. It's just a little bit. Now I'm going to put some blush on my cheeks, go back into the Fiona Styles multi-dimensional palette. And I like to kind of dabble with these, with these blushes. So what I like to do is go into the bright pink here and dabble around a little bit and then go into the peachy color here and then also go up to the brown. I think when you have a palette like this, they're fun to play with because then you can kind of create different cheek colors. But this is a really nice palette too. I really like the color in, the colors in here. The pink I was a little bit scared of and I think that's why I started dabbling in the first places because the pink was a little bit scary to me. I was like, whoa, that's some bright pink. That's like Barbie pink. I'm not sure that's going to look good on me, but you can always make them work when you have a palette like that. Now I'm going to try to reach behind you guys and grab a Q-tip. I got my little Ulta Q-tips, the ones that are like pointed on the end. We'll clean up my mess here. That's cleaned. These things are very pointy, like the tip to it's very, very pointy. Like it almost hurts a little bit to be honest. I'm not sure I love these. I'd rather go back to regular Q-tips because these are so pointy they kind of hurt. Okay, so now all we need to do is put our lip product on and we're going to use, I have two lip products. I did pick up an extra lip product from her. I have Luella, which is a um, Hydra Shine. And then I have Rainy, Rainy, which is a signature soft matte. I like the Hydra Shine better than the matte, but that's just me. I mean, there's different people are going to like different things. I just like the way this one looks and feels. Mm, it feels almost like you're wearing just chapstick. And I like the containers of these, like it's magnetic. It's pretty cool. So that is the finished Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think of this look. Do you think it looks okay? I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't think it's like the best look I've ever seen on YouTube, that's for sure. But I mean, I think the products all in here worked really well. The only one I feel like is not the greatest is the mascara. I'm just not super impressed by that. So. So far, I think everything's working great. So I'll let you guys know on Monday whatever products maybe didn't work out in the end. And then let you guys know which ones were my favorites. And we'll pull new products. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which products you feel like you might enjoy. I'd love to hear. And then you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll catch you guys later.